What I have here is a div container that's flexible width and inside of that div container I have a YouTube video and I embedded this YouTube video simply by going to the share option and embed and there I just kept whatever defaults it had which is a width of 640 and a height of 480 and what I want to happen is have the video inside over here the iframe that I embedded be flexible with the flexible width of my div container now if this were an image or an HTML5 video, uh, the easiest solution is just to add width 100% and height auto. And what would happen is, is that the width would span 100% of its parent container and the width would adjust accordingly. Well, the problem we're having is that that is not going to preserve the aspect ratio of the video. While it's maintaining the width, it's not doing the height properly. So. The solution for this, although is a little more involved, it is essentially quite simple because it's a pure CSS solution that only requires one extra uh, HTML element to be entered in your page, which is just a, basically a wrapper for the YouTube video itself. So uh, let's get right to it. I first discovered this solution at cr uh, Creating Intrinsic Ratios for Videos back in 2009 on a list of part. Now, uh, this article goes into why and how this works and of course it's been a bit updated as you'll find in other places um, and really it's this you could implement this solution by copying and pasting this code but I want to kind of explain how it works too so a uh, first order of business is to create a div container for our video and uh, right here I'm just gonna add into my iframe a div container and then of course I want to uh, close it and now I'm going to copy and paste this code right over here and there we go so let's look at what this code is doing now uh, this div container class that I wrapped the iframe around uh, its properties are position relative and padding bottom and then it has some adjustments over here down at the bottom so let's talk about what this is doing first position relative is is not going to do much in and of itself but basically position relative sets up the actual iframe that we already have entered here to be positioned absolutely because uh, you, you'll position any element that's positioned absolutely it's going to be positioned to its most relative parent container. You can find more information on absolute and relative positioning in other videos. Now, uh, padding bottom 56.25, that figure comes from a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you take 9 divided by 16, you'll see that you get 0 0.5625. So that's where that figure comes from. Now, Padding bottom, I know it was chosen to be padding bottom specifically because there are some issues with uh, IE5 and using padding top and it kind of pushed things in the document flow. So uh, I think uh, as of current, which is this video shot in 2012, uh, it doesn't necessarily matter if you use padding top or padding bottom. Um, it'll actually function the same and the same thing for height zero was another IE fix so these are potentially uh, the height zero is optional I would say clearly you need to do some testing uh, depending on how far back you have to support browsers but I know that like IE 9 and modern versions of the other big guys Firefox Chrome and Safari it'll work just fine and um, and anyway, the overflow also, just to kind of uh, dive into other optional ones, is kind of like a fail-safe in case things spill over. So I would even argue that you could take that out. Um, and we still have padding bottom, and, and top is kind of fine-tuning the adjustments on how it's going to be positioned. Now, since we have since we've positioned the frame inside to absolute positioning we do top and left to zero so that's going to make it sit perfectly in the top left corner and then with a hundred percent height a hundred percent so let's see the result of our code it indeed works just as we want it to that's pretty cool now uh, what I'd say when I'm saying the padding top 
uh, padding uh, right here, the padding top 30%. This is what we could use to kind of adjust our video exactly the way we want it. Because if we look at my video, I think that I still have more up top over here. Because if we look at relative positioning, you see I still have a top bar over here. And you can see that my Macintosh hard drive is fully in view. But here it's kind of uh, seems to be lost. Well, if I just add maybe padding top 50 pixels and I refresh it, we should see more and more of that stuff coming into view and as you could see let me go whoops let me go right to a hundred um, yeah so the padding top is how I could do the final adjustments to make sure everything's in there now I took out that overflow that height zero and before I get too crazy, you know, you want to make sure that you test all these things to uh, that they work in all the browsers that you need to. But um, from my experimentation, uh, they've worked out just fine.